Oh, it's Wasabi, welcome back to the channel. It's a battle on the mines map. Uh, we're following Fury from Fidi Clan. He's in the Barasque, the tier 8 French medium tank. And he's platooned with uh, Blue Dog from uh, Aussie Clan in the same type of tank. Now, Fury uses the first 30 seconds of the countdown to analyse the battle list from both his own team and the enemy team to make a quick plan. Uh, and, uh, yeah, use that information to determine you know, who he needs to deal with. Any, any useful tactic there. Now, they've just found an ELC of 90 has been trying to charge the hill, but uh, the platoon have managed to take him out of the game to, because of their first leg up, take him out one of the light tanks. He's boosting Blue Dog here, in interesting position. I haven't tried that before, so we'll see if that uh, is useful. But it does give you a bit of view across the island. Now, you can see Fury stops at this point. Uh, you can see there's an nice three right under the wall um, of the castle that he's in, and if he goes too close, that ice three will proxy spot him. You can see that white circle, you know, white circle on the mini map. Um, that would expose him to TDs on the um, back part of the mines hill. So, now Fury's noticed on the map that uh, there's nothing on the island from his team, so. First of all, he's making a fainting move to make it look like he's going around the, um, the base of the castle, but instead, when he goes dark, he's changing direction. So it's good to try and give the enemy the impression of which direction you're going and then, yeah, reverse that. And he's heading towards the island. He's noticed that um, FE that was spotted first on the island has moved down and there's an STG backing him up as well. So. He's taking a very wide arc here to make sure he doesn't get lit. If he must be behind a rock because he hasn't appeared. And the STG was lit by Fury, it looks like, so he's already getting some spotting damage from that. And he's just pushing up here to see if he can find the um, FV. And here he goes, got the rear of the FV. The FV just noticed he's been spotted but he can't really push now on Fury, which is good. Um, but, and he's also at a fairly exposed position being lit. Uh, Fury's just using this rock as protection in case Artie tries to have a go at him. That FB is gone, as well as the STG, um, as soon as uh, yeah, he got on the island. So, good spotting there, and uh, good aggressive play here to basically shore up that weakness on the, um, on the flank. Now, just because those two tanks have been killed doesn't mean there's nothing else there, so he's got to be a bit cautious. In fact, there he's found a Jusaw. Jusaw was actually looking at him, um, managed to put a shot in. Um, so he's going to use this rock as protection. Now he's not going to push on this Jusaw again. The TD's on the back. Uh, he will be spotted by the Jusaw and basically lit up. He won't have any protection. So he's staying here, taking a reload, and just waiting there. And in fact, there's um, some light lit up areas on the back, the two uh, Borsics have been lit up, uh, he's managed to kill one and just trying to get his second shot in on the uh, other one, just through this narrow gap, just unfortunately doesn't connect with that one, but that Borsic's just about finished, uh, but one arty shot and he'll be gone, and the G-Saw who's been pushed further back is now being attacked by the Lynx who's right down on the corner, and manages to take him out, so that takes the eyes away from the enemy, and you can see that um, not an easy managed to pick up um, 2,000 of his own damage. He's also got 1,800 of persistent damage already, so he's definitely making an impact on this game. Finds the arty, gets rid of him with his clip, goes on the reload, and although he's been lit, uh, he's pretty safe here. He's under the guns. Anyone who's on the hill, and also away from the, um, the tanks that are on the side of the castle. So he's been lit again, so there's probably another tank nearby, and in fact there's also a strip here has been spotted, so he puts one shot into the strip, then the second shot goes for a ram. Basically what he's trying to do is get the um, strip tracked, but he's managed to get himself tracked, which is unfortunate, and he's taken the second hit, now he's basically on reload and is taken out by the Brigettos. So a bit unfortunate there, but this aggressive play has led to pretty much a walkover of the enemy team. Um, Obviously the tanks in the team helped, but um, his play helped make sure that uh, they 
weren't getting their backline attacked at the same time, which would have spread their forces around and made, made it a weakness. So good quick thinking there has really turned the day. And his uh, teammate tries to do a cliff dive on the Progetto, finally gets killed. And uh, they're just about at the end, I think, of the match. And that's the end. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the results. So Fury picked up a first class mastery badge there for that game. Uh, didn't get any particular medals there apart from the minor bruiser and um, fire for effect badges, etc. But he did uh, earn 3,400 damage of his own and 2,550 of uh, assisted damage, giving him a total of uh, very close to 6k of combined damage there, as well as the two kills. So good all round performance. 1368 base experience would get you a mastery badge ace tanker in most tier 8 tanks but um, the brass has got a pretty high level uh, due to who's playing it at the moment so, so you need to get around about 1600 I think to get um, an ace tanker in that uh, tank uh, but he finished well ahead of uh, the rest of his team in terms of experience earned so it shows the impact that he had on the game there both from his decision making and his actions so he fired 11 shots um, only one missed and all the ones that landed penetrated. Um, he didn't spend a whole lot on premium ammunition um, and ended up making 65,000 credits. So nice earner for the day. Anyway, great result there. And I think a great game uh, for people to learn from. So thanks for the content, Fury, and we we'll look forward to more.